and you're thinking about what your next question is, you've missed an opportunity to kind of go off on a, on a little bit of a rabbit trail that might be really, really interesting. And what are some of the mistakes that you see people do when they do these um, podcasts or, or YouTube videos? Looking at how you would want things to go differently is a, is a really important way. But before I get to that, let me bring up one other. I really like uh, Krista Tippett's program called On Being with uh, Minnesota Public Radio. There's one where, as opposed to Marin, the comedian, if you hold Krista Tippett's On Being and Mark Marin's WTF podcast and just listen to how much the host speaks, you'll be amazed at how little Krista Tippett actually says, and she's okay with silence. I've never done a study on Mark Marin's, but it, it feels like he does 80% of the talking. That's what people want, because he is funny. If I were a guest on Mark Maron's podcast, I would think, well, I get a word in edgewise. So <laughs> that is one of the things that I would say for people to pay attention to is, yeah, how much does the host actually listen to the answer? And I th as I mentioned in my book, talk to me, uh, active listening means you're really paying attention to what the person is saying. You're not so focused on what is my next question. And that's where we get into that difference between an interrogation and a conversation. When, when hosts or interviewers aren't listening, and so, somebody might say something, what did you just say? I think that's a perfectly legitimate question for an interviewer to ask, whether it's live or, or not. What did you just say? Then that person develops it a little bit further. But if they say something, that's a little kind of off kilter and you're thinking about what your next question is, you've missed an opportunity to kind of go off on a, on a little bit of a rabbit trail that might be really, really interesting and might not be something that, that they've talked about publicly before. So I, I do think one of the mistakes hosts often make is that they aren't really listening to what the person is saying. They've got their own agenda and they want to make sure right. that they get their agenda out there. Thanks for listening to The Adrian Sinclair Show. You can find previous episodes on the A Podcast multi-channel network at apodcast.com. You can also stream this podcast on Spotify, iTunes, Google Podcasts, Podbean, and other audio platforms. And if you subscribe to our weekly newsletter, you'll get convenient short summaries of podcasts you may have missed. So check it out. And lastly, please, please, please support us by sharing our episodes on social media. We really appreciate it. Thanks.